Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to play and download a Squid Game minigame map on your server. This map includes custom textures, commands, and much more. Firstly, I'm going to be showing you an overview of the map and the minigame features, but later on I'll be showing you how to get it working on your server. It's important to note though that you'll need Optifine and the required resource pack equipped in order to see all the textures properly. Upon entering the world, you'll be spawned in the main room. If you turn around, you're able to turn some options on and off, such as tutorials, story mode and cooldown. Also, don't forget to right click the rules sign and follow the rules to have the best in-game experience experience. If you turn story mode on, you'll see that a button appears in the middle of the room. Right click it to start the timer and when it's done, you'll be teleported to the first game. This is the red light green light game. Here you have to make sure you're observant of the bar at the top saying red light and green light. Only move when it says green light so you're not eliminated. If you successfully reach the end, you'll be temporarily moved to the spawn room and then to the next round. This is the honeycomb game. You can go up to the front and select one of the four shapes by pressing the button below it. Alternatively, you could just wait for the game to assign you a random one. Then you'll have to open your inventory and use the arrow to pick out your shape correctly. You'll be eliminated if you touch any of the glass blocks. The next game available on this map is the tug of war game. Once you spawn in the room, head to one of the elevators at the front and press the button next to you. Here you'll have to pull the rope by pressing the diamond block in your hotbar. It appears randomly so make sure to pay attention so you don't get pulled into the middle. If you manage to eliminate the other team instead, you are able to proceed to the next round. There you'll be presented with the marbles game. In this game you have to choose an even or odd option using the carrot on stick rods. If you choose odd and the other player has picked an odd number of marbles, then your marble number will increase. If you pick odd and they have chosen even instead, your marble number will decrease. In the end, the first player to reach 10 marbles wins and the other will be eliminated. Up next is the glass bridge round. You'll have to cross the bridge by stepping on the glass blocks. You should be careful though because one glass block on each row is easily breakable and once you step on it, you'll fall to your death. If you make it to the other side of the bridge though, you can now proceed to the last game, the squid game. In this final round, you'll be given some weapons and armor as well as a random opponent from the remaining players. You will have to fight until one of you dies, and if there are just two of you left, then the player alive wins. However, if there are more than two players alive, you'll have to fight them too, as in the end, only one of you can win the whole game. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says download Minecraft map and upon clicking it if it pops up with another page, simply wait a couple seconds for your file to be downloaded. Below that you'll also see that there's a resource pack button. Simply click it and press continue to download that zip as well. You'll then have to extract this zip in order to get the map folder. To make the next step easier, make sure you move these files to a place where you can easily access, for example your desktop. Firstly, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the map version to ensure no complications. The creator has stated that the map version is 1.17, however this may change in the future so please check before continuing. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Afterwards, head over to the files tab. Here you'll see a couple different files, but the only thing we need to do right now is select the world folder and delete it. Then we click the upload button in the top right. When this window appears, you select folder and navigate to the area you saved the world folder previously. Clicking upload, you'll be prompted with this pop-up. Just click upload and upload again. It'll take a couple seconds for the files to upload, however, when it's done, you want to select the folder and rename it to something simpler, such as Squid Game. It's important to note though that spaces and special characters are not allowed. For the next step, you'll want to copy the name you just renamed the world to. Proceed onto the server.properties file, look for level name online 9, and after the equals, right click and paste. Now you have officially uploaded the world onto your server. To upload the required resource pack though, you'll have to head to line 32. 
Then, after the equals, paste the link to the required texture pack. We ourselves have uploaded that pack to our Dropbox, so if you want to use our link, we'll leave it in the description. Before moving on, make sure to save file to confirm the changes, and then you can head back to your server dashboard. You can now turn your server back on. Keep in mind though, that you and your friends will have to copy this host name and paste it into the multiplayer section of Minecraft in order to join the server. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.